Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now we are in chapter 4 which is chemical bonding. And now we're going to focus on the subtopic of 4.5 which is metallic bonding, part 2 of the video. So in this video, we're going to look into the explanation of the electrical conductivity of metal by using the Venn theory. So we're going to focus on the subtopic of 4.5e in part 2 of the video which is in this video. So without any further ado, let us start. So, metallic bonding, which is related to the band theory. So, in chemistry, according to the band theory of solid, electron needs to jump from a valence band to the conduction band, which is at even at ordinary temperature. And if this happens, it means that the solid, which usually a metal, will conduct electricity. So, conductivity, or the ability to conduct electrical current, depends on the gap between the valence band and the conduction band. So if the gap or the energy difference between the valence band and the conduction band, conduction band is big enough, therefore it will behave as an insulator. So what is valence band and what is conduction band? So valence band and conduction band can be understood by looking at the diagram here. So basically metals are conductors. It means that it conducts electricity. So when you look at metal, there's no band gap between the valence and the conduction band and therefore they're gonna be overlapping. So as what you can see here, the conductor will have this valence band which is the shaded region filled with electrons. So this one is known as the valence band. Meanwhile, the empty orbital here is known as the conduction band. So for metal, there is no band gap. It means that it's just overlapping. Okay, and if there is gap, there's only a small amount. Meanwhile, for the semiconductor, the energy gap is very, very small. Meanwhile, for insulator, there's a large energy gap. It means that the electron is very, very difficult to jump from the valence band into the conduction band. Meanwhile, for conductor, for conductor, electron can jump easily from the valence band into the conduction band, which is very, very much easy. And therefore, the the electrical conductivity can be done. So as I mentioned, valence band is basically made up of the valence shell. So let's say if we have a sodium metal, sodium will have 11 electron. So the electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, and 3s1. So the valence electron or the valence shell is at the 3s. So the 3s will become the valence band. Okay, and after 3s, we have 3p, but our 3p here is empty because it does not have any electron. So it is unoccupied and therefore this 3p orbital will going to become the conduction band. Okay, so when we have a valence band and conduction band and their energy gap is very, very small. So you can see that the valence band and conduction band is overlapping. So electron can move freely from the valence band into the conduction band and sodium can conduct electricity. Okay, and from our understanding here, let us answer one example. So for example, number one, by using the band theory, we're going to explain how magnesium Mg conduct electricity. So as what you know that, magnesium will have 12 electron. So you're going to have the electronic configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 and 3s2. So the 3s going to become the valence band. Meanwhile, the 3p which is empty will become the conduction band. Okay, so according to the band theory, a conductor is simply a material that has its valence band and conduction band overlapping. So valence band and conduction band are overlapping for the metal. So allowing electrons to flow through the material with minimal applied voltage. So as what we have done, we know that magnesium valence band is made up of the 3s orbital. And after 3, after 3s orbital, the next orbital is 3p, which is empty. So it's going to form a conduction band. So since, uh, since the 3s and 3p are quite close in terms of the energy difference, it's going to be overlapping. So it's going to allow the electron in the 3s orbital to jump to the conduction band, which is at 3p. And this result in the flow of electron resulting in the electrical conductivity. So electron can flow very, very easily and conduct electric. 
So I think that's all for today's video. See you again some other time. Bye!